Welcome back to the food truck where we say God is doing something special for us on the me and you. I say to you, welcome back. Um, social media. Social media is a way that many of you know is a way that we communicate our lives to the world. And while communicating our lives to the world, we know some of the people that we're sharing it with. And on the other hand, there are some stories that we share with some unfamiliar people that we don't know of. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. Social media is a way of connecting with people, showing our lives. And, and there is one tag, a, a button that, that has been recently made, eh, probably in the last two or three years, of sharing your stories. Hmm. Sharing your stories. And I have seen a lot of stories that have been created off of many people, individuals, uh, platforms of their lives in the past 24 hours. What occurs to them? What has happened uh, through actions? What have occurred in their lives through emotions? And seeing what they eat and seeing what they have done. And, and you know what? I wanted to run an experiment to see if I could see what sharing in your stories would do for an individual. I, I came to find out that while sharing your story on a social media platform, I've seen a lot of stories that were, could be considered public, things that, you know, wasn't detrimental to anybody. It was something they wanted to share and you seen it and you was like, all right, that was good to know. And then there were some things that could have been held as private. <laughs> you know what I mean. Some of those stories that we see on our social media platforms don't need to be on there. We know that for sure. So I ran an experiment and I'm going to show you two stories that I created. And I want you to see, is there something wrong in what we are seeing? Check it out. did you like? Did you like Tariq's story or did you like Ty? Tariq or Ty? <laughs> Many of you might be saying, hmm, the one I really like was Ty's. I mean, Ty was living the best life in our opinion. He was had the nice car. He took a trip to Paris, Italy. He also, he also was a host of a big major party. And, you know, there were some things of Tyreek's that we tend to like. He was speaking about God, God's way, and God so loved the world, John 3, 16. And then I started thinking, I said, why does it seem as though me as an individual more attracted to Ty story than Tyreek's? And then a passage came to mind. Let me read it to you. Do not love the world or the things in the world. The love of the Father is not in those who love the world. For all that is in the world, 
the desire of the flesh, the desire of the eye, the pride in riches comes not from the father, but from the world and the world and its desires are passing away. But those who will, but those who do the will of God live forever. This is first John second chapter 15 through 17. This is a passage where we can see why we are so attracted of things of this world. We have a tendency to love things and have desire for things that that pleases the flesh. Don't get me wrong. I mean, we all do. I mean, when we see things that are brand new or things that will make our appearance better or places that we want to go that are pleasing to our eyes, we have that desire to want to be there or to have what we see. That's why Ty was getting more likes than Tyreek. So you see, Tyreek, he was displaying his story, was showing some things that were uplifting, but it was not pleasing to the eye because it was of the world. <laughs> Man, sounds familiar. When I look at not only of this text, I look at also the post that the story that Tyreek did. Tariq was showing his salvation, his conversion, and he was sharing his story of passages in the Bible. But as a believer, there's another level that we also got to be thinking of when we sharing the story. Our story is not the primary story. It's the secondary story. It's actually the add on. God's story should be the primary. Our story is a secondary. So you might be saying, what do you mean by that? I think that we believe that our story actually changes people in converting people to follow Christ. That is one reason you might, you might disagree with this, but I'm just going to say it. I'm going to just state it. You know, on Facebook, they had add a friend, but on Instagram and other plat social media platforms, it has followers. Will you follow me? Mm, I don't push follow because I don't follow no one except Christ. So I'm not going to follow you and you don't need to follow me. The only one I need to follow is Christ Jesus. That's why it might not mean a lot to you, but Words do matter, so I stay away from that. And being a follower of Christ makes it my responsibility as a believer to put him as the primarily focus and my story as the secondary. My story has nothing, it would not exist if there was no Christ. So when people come to me and they want to know how are you making it or how, how do you overcome bad time? Because I, I share the gospel. I'm not going to share, you know, I was down on my last dime and, and I got this motivation to pick myself up. No, no, it has nothing to do with me. Everything that occurs in my life and I get through it or I am strengthened or if I'm knocked down and picked back up has everything to do with Christ Jesus. His story is the primary story. So every time that I get a chance to tell a story, well, what has occurred in my past 24 hour period is going to be about Christ Jesus. Not about what happened to Ty, but Christ Jesus. My story is not primary. My story is secondary. So 
I will see you next week back here on the food truck where we say God is doing something special for us on the me and you.